Hello, good morning there. And a very warm welcome. Actually, a very cold and miserable welcome to you to today's video. Um, as you can see, it's absolutely chocolate town right now. But don't get me wrong, this condition is absolutely perfect for today's phot photography because we are in the woods. And the reason for that is the water on the, on the autumnal leaves is going to saturate the colours even more. And if you're using a polarizer, you can bring out the colour even, even more. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a great for colour and also it's raining really heavily and that means low visibility or even even, hear me out, it can even bring some fog and mists in and that means atmosphere and mood in our photographs. Um, yeah, even though it's going to be really hard to work with, especially when I'm filming as well, but I'm really, really excited and I hope there are a few photographs are waiting for me to be taken in this in my local woodland. Yeah, let's crack on. I think this is my first composition. Let me just wipe you there. Yeah, that's not, not much better, is it? Um, yeah, sorry about that, but the rain, the rain is just non-stop and it's just perfect, absolutely perfect. And I was right here with my friends the other day when we were sort of scouting out the area and we spotted these two trees. They hadn't fully turned yet when we were here, but now just look at them. Just look at them. On the left, we have this gorgeous, fully turned, sort of rusty orange, saturated color on the leaves. And on the right, in comparison, in contrast, we have this sort of half turned, yellowish color. And I believe these two trees are beech. I might be wrong, but I think they are beech trees. And the colours just beautiful. I have another composition in mind with uh, these two trees as, as subjects, but let me just shoot this composition first. Do bear in mind because I'm recording this uh, on my big camera, it's gonna crop the sensor to 16 by 9, so there are actually something on the top. Something, something on the bottom, but I'll probably uh, crop it to a panorama or or 16 by 9 in the end. Um, yeah, just look at it. It's 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 a free composition. It's just that, and the two trees in perfect contrast, in perfect color. They're just gorgeous. They're just so peaceful, ethereal. So you can see I've placed this dark tree trunk on the right, and this bright. Uh, the, I believe it's beach as well, beach tree trunk on the left. Um, and these sort of act as, as stoppers um, to keep your eyes from wandering out of the frame. And that's just, yeah, that sort of just keep every element um, inside the frame in sight. I mentioned before how a polarizer can be really useful um, in a rainy condition, and let me just show you what, you what it does. So at the moment, the polarizer is not turned yet. So if I turn the circular polarizer, 
you can just see the glare on the leaves are disappearing and they are fully disappeared now and just that just that just looks looks way better um, and if you don't have a polarizer you can see the, uh, the less contrast the less saturation because leaves are reflecting the light from the environment and the reflected light is polarized because of the reflection and when you go through a polarizer again the unpolarized light can go through so that's why that's how a polarizer works basically um, yeah so so that reveals the pure the most pure and saturated color behind those reflections um, yeah I mean, it just looks beautiful and that's for focus we are focusing absolutely on either of the trees because they are they are equidistant from my camera so then just get the focus right there we go on the tree trunk yeah let's grab the shot f4 iso 100 two second timer with polarizer um one twenty fifth of a second shutter speed here we go Just beautiful. Autumn at its best. So I have framed up my second composition of these two gorgeous trees and there, is, there are less simplicities in, in this composition. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment, let me just show you um, what it's called, there we go. Yes, so what I'm doing uh, in this composition as you can clearly see, I'm framing our subject the, the colourful trees in the middle with these two but beech trees on the left and the right and we do also have some really interesting patterns on the floor with the fallen branches and tree trunks um, and also the gorgeous um, autumnal rusty rusty colour leaves fallen leaves on the floor what I just what I like the most about this shot is how these branches are sort of connected with each other and they're forming like a, a leading line um, into the center of the frame and and just how these two subjects on the left and right are framing this shot naturally and they also act as anchor points for your eyes to rest in this frame and I just love these two trees so much. <laughs> yeah, it's just so good. And, and of course, we're using polarizer uh, to get rid of the glare on, on the tree, on the tree trunk and the leaves. As you can see, there's a massive, massive difference as I rotate this polarizer. However, what I don't like in this shot is at the bright spots of the sky, especially here. There's a huge gap in the tree line and that doesn't look good um, I think I'm gonna crop a bit crop out a bit of the top but that doesn't solve our, our problem so I probably do some um, yeah clone stamping thing over there it might be wrong to do it but for the art and for for the wholesomeness of the image I kind of have to do it, so do forgive me for that. On that, I thought I needed to focus that because because th that tree over there is a bit close to my camera. But turns out F11 just does the job. Yeah, let's grab a shot. Um, F11, 
ISO 100 focusing on a subject. Um, two second timer, one tenth of the sh one tenth of a second. I'm um, sure the speed can talk. Um, yeah, let's go. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Just love it. Love it. So with that shot done, I think I will end today's video here. It's been fruitful, very productive, but very challenging as well. Um, as you can see, I'm absolutely stoked, um, but I feel really satisfied. Oh, here comes the rain again. Um, yeah, really happy about the images. I hope you like it as well. Do, um, yeah. Do write to comment down below and tell me which one you think is the best shot uh, out of the three. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And uh, it'll be a great support if you can just hit the subscribe button and the like button as well. Um, yeah, to help out with the YouTube algorithm.